<laughs> the way I like to think about fluids is the aim of the game is to keep this big sponge, this Pac-Man, really well hydrated. Okay. And the way we do that is we've got this tank full of fluid, and we've got this pump, and we've got this sort of you know, like you have your finger at the end of a hose to put a bit of pressure, like some valve-like mechanism or something like that, something to create some pressure to really pump the fluid into Pac-Man. Okay. So when we think about why a patient is hypovolemic, um, or, or in shock basically is what I mean, sorry, in shock, there are three main areas. There's either not enough fluid, not enough of um, a pump, or not enough pressure at the end. Okay. And that corresponds to three main types of shock. Okay, so hypovolemic shock, cardiogenic shock, and distributive shock. Okay. So based on that, there are three types of measurements we can take, right, to work out what type of shock we've got. Okay? So a measurement here, do you know what, what measurement this would correspond to? The measurement taken just before we get to the heart, or the pressure there, or what, what is that? CVP. CVP, exactly. That's CVP. That's really cool. We do that in ITU and all that sort of thing. What can you do in the ward, which is similar? JVP. Exactly, JVP. So this is basically your JVP and your CVP. Is it a small void to touch it? Oh, wow. I was just reading my mind. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> fine. Uh, so cool. Okay, so what about the measurement here? What is that measurement analogous to? Just after the pressure at the end of the valves. It's blood pressure, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, that's blood pressure, okay? And it's all very well we chase these values, we try and get them in certain ranges, it's really important. But actually what matters is how well hydrated that sponge is, okay? That's, so these numbers don't actually tell you how your patient is. Measurements of how well hydrated that sponge is is what determines if the patient is gonna live or die, okay? Can you think of five markers of end organ perfusion? Oligaria, yes, so decreased urine output. Yeah. So you measured the urine output. Yeah, absolutely, that's one. Serum lactate. Lactate, brilliant, that's two. Yeah. Okay, let's go through top to toe, right? So, brilliant, that's three. Metal status, okay. Um, you're on fire. Okay, so in your cardiac exam, you start with the hands. Which is so, yeah, skin turgor and cap refill, yeah? Probably feel as well, temperature gradients, things like that. So skin, it's your fourth one. The fifth one's a bit weird. They just use an ITU. I don't think anyone else in the world uses them. Go for it. Mean arterial pressure. Um, pressure is something you can calculate on the wards anywhere. Um, it's um, remember that would be more something like this, wouldn't it? Um, it's you can use central venous oxygen saturations, but no one does. Um, okay, fine. So these are and that's quite an indirect measure. Um, so basically, yeah, there are five markers of end organ perfusion, that really tells you how well hydrated the patient is right now, okay?